Hey everybody! Welcome to the video where I do whatever I want. And today, I wanna make layered candles. I saw this thing online where it was like, lay your own candles, but there was zero instruction. So I'm just gonna make it up as I go. Usually I do crafts that have a little more instruction to it, but this one I was like, hey, I'm getting really good at crafting, so maybe I can wing it. So I'm gonna make three little candles and we're gonna layer different colored wax. Oh. I have hot glue. I haven't hot glued anything in like a week. Good. So apparently we need to just do a clear layer on the bottom just to get the uh, wick stay in the place because the other colors, we're gonna tilt these to the side while layering them. If we did that, these wicks would just kind of slide. So we're just gonna do a clear layer on the bottom, very thin, just to get these to stand up straight in the holes. Oh, also, um, I'm gonna add fragrance because I don't understand owning a candle that you don't light or that smells like nothing. So I'm gonna add a scent. I found this. I wasn't even planning on this. I just found it in the craft store. And you just add this smell to candles and then they smell good. Like, why wouldn't everyone do this? I don't understand the candles at stores that are just for decoration. Yeah, you know what's pretty? A lit candle. Why would you sell me a $20 candle that doesn't have a scent? It doesn't make Anyway, all right, I've melted it. It's melted. It looks like butter. I'm do this quick before it hardens again or whatever wax does. Yeah, it hardens. I didn't realize how like quick I'd have to do all this. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit down on the bottom and then I'm gonna fill it a little bit so it gets stuck. Stay there. Stay, no, no, don't do that. Stay, stay, no. Oh God, okay. Oh God, this is not going well. I'm very stressed out. And I'm just touching hot wax. Cute. Harden. I can only do one at a time. Oh dear God, this is gonna take forever. No falling over. Stay where I put you. These are the rules that I've created. <laughs> okay, I've created these toothpick things so that they stay in their spot. Stay where I, you toothpick. Also, I messed up on this one. As you can see, wax dripped down the side of it. I have to remove that before I put in other colored waxes or else that's just gonna look stupid. So as these dry, I'm going to create colored wax to layer. So what's gonna happen is I got crayons. Now with these, apparently you break them up, which colors you want, and you mix it in with the wax chips, and that way it creates a colorful wax. Yeah? Okay. So I'm just going to fill each of these Dixie cups up, like three fourths the way full. I'm filling the cups up and filling the cups up and filling the cups up. So I fill each cup about that full, and then I'm gonna break apart the colored crayons I want, and then decide how I'm gonna layer them in the candle situation. Does this make sense? I got these molten metal crayons, they have glitter in them. Now while I'm not usually a fan of glitter, it might look cool in a candle. <gasps> look at that purple. Do you see the purple color? So I'm just gonna break this open, I guess. I gotta take the thing off, break it into pieces, and stick it in a cup. So I've finished filling each little cup with a different color. This one I'm keeping all white, so uh, I, you know, I didn't put color in it because why would you put a white crayon in something that's already white when you want the color to be white? That just seems a little redundant. I'm gonna melt one of these, see if it works, and then I'll pour that layer, and that layer needs to set and harden, is the word I'm looking for, but that needs to harden before I can add the next layer. So this seems like it's gonna take a while, but I think it might be worth it if I do it correctly. I'm gonna go heat up purple, I guess. Hopefully this works, I have absolutely no idea. Wait, when do I add the smell? Add scent to melted wax just before pouring into mold or container. Woohoo! <gasps> it's so science -y. <laughs> All right, right, I'm gonna go melt this and I will be right back. Okay, I gotta do this fast. I've made the purple. There are still crayon chunks in it, but I'm hoping that just can be ignored. It looks awesome, but let's see if I can do this, all right? So you put this at an angle and then you pour it in at the angle, I think, and then I hold it. There has got to be a better way to do this. Oh my God, I don't wanna hold this for six hours. Harden, can I create a little like holdy thing for this? Perfect, genius, I'm a genius. Oh, I forgot to add the wax. The smell, the smell, the smell. Oh God, I can't do this one handed. All right. Building a contraption like a scientist. Stay. That is not gonna end well, is it? Add the fragrance. Boop, boop, boop. I don't know how much you're supposed to add. Get in there. I added it. I have absolutely no idea if that was the right amount. How are you supposed to get the wick to stay in the spot that the wick should stay in? You know what I mean? I want it to stay there. No, no, no. Oh, no. Guys, I'm not doing well. I am not doing well at all right now. I'm trying to figure out how to make the wick stay where I want the wick to be. I have no idea. You know what? Why am I not just using tape? Tape is my best friend. 
I think I'm a little bit of a genius. Just a little bit. I, how long does it take to dry? Does this say? Does the instruct? Where are the instructions? I don't have any. That was the whole point of the thing, is I could do a craft without instructions. Then let's work on the next one, shall we? The next base layer. Well, first we gotta get this candle wax off the side of this one. Because this one has candle wax all up the side of it. So I gotta get rid of that. Well. That wouldn't work out too well. I'm gonna go clean this, melt some candle, and put it inside of it. Sound good? Neat. Look at this. I've taped this to this so that it will stay slanted. Why was I freaking out? Tape is always the answer. Tape will fix anything you need. Ooh, my hands smell like this, and it's delicious. I'm gonna put a few drops of the smell into this melted wax before I pour it in. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, now I'm gonna pour it into this, secure my wick in its correct spot. Done. Oh no. I'm pretty sure I just got a hair in there. Yeah. You know what? There's just gonna be a hair in that candle because I don't want to get it out. Not at all. Now I'm gonna redo this thing so that it's like this so that I can do this base. Does that make sense, right? I've, I, I, I've made a mess. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making all of this up and I've made a mess in the meantime. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. So I have all three candles hardening their base layer and then after that, I'll flip them and do the other layer. Cool. Cool. So I flipped two of the candles. This one was still a little hot and so I didn't want to mess with it, but I flipped the candles and taped them this way. So I'm gonna go melt the second layer, add that. Um, I cleaned up with a toothpick a little bit on the edges where I, like wax accidentally got. I was hopeful, then skeptical, and now I'm hopeful again, all right? So this is where I'm at. I'm gonna go do some more stuff and then I'll come back and then we'll do it. Ready? Cool. Yes. Now, I'm like kind of nervous that when I add this wax, the other wax is gonna melt. That seems like a normal concern, right? It smells like candle and the fragrance I picked. Pouring time. That seems like a good amount, right? Oh, and then I have to do my tape for the wick. Perfect. Oh, this is turning out better than I expected. Now I'm gonna do the other one for that one. By the way, when the hair that was in this one, I pulled it out with tweezers. It was very satisfying. That look good. I'm nervous, like they're not gonna be very even. I should have evened them all out more. But this is what you get. I think this one's cooled down enough where I can flip it. Looks like this one needs a fresh thing of tape. When in doubt, tape. I think that should just be everyone's motto in the world. This one's not staying very good. What is happening? The other ones work so well. Why aren't you dicking, you mother trucker? You know what, I'm gonna tape the tape. That's right, now what? Now what? Yes, son. Boom. Now I'll do that one. Oh no, I forgot to tape that. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Never forget to tape the wick. Oh, that was a close one, guys. That was pretty close. Oh, I'm gonna fill that one, let them dry, and then I'm gonna tilt them upright and do the last layer. So I will see you for the last layer. So I'm pretty sure they're dry, and so I'm gonna stand them up straight. It kind of like dipped in at some spots. For some reason, the wax didn't like mold completely to the stuff like it should. See how it kind of like has this weird spot where it like starts here, but then it's also there. I don't know, but it happened. I'm dealing with it. For some reason, it's not sticking to the sides correctly. Do you see that? This is what I have so far. Does it look cool? Now I just need to add the last layer and we're done. All right, let's go melt some more stuff. I'm adding it to this middle one. Boom. Move my wick a little bit. Perfect. That's it. I did it. I think that's pretty freaking awesome. All right, I'm gonna do the other two and then we'll freak out about it all. Whoa! That was my freak out. Did you like it? I did it! Look how cool they are! Okay, this one for some reason green leaked a little bit and I don't quite know why. This one crackled some. Don't know what's going on there. And this one is very sparkly. But I did it! I created, I think they look pretty cool, right? Look, I like this one the best. I think this one looks cool. Well, actually the colors on this one look really cool, but it got messed up a lot. Like that looks really lame. I think this is awesome. I think I did a great job. So I'm gonna like this one because it's the most full. These ones are very empty. Ready? Oh, I'm so excited. Also, I get to play with fire. <laughs> is it too late now to say sorry? <gasps> It's lit in so many different ways. Is this lit? Look at this. But I don't care that much. Do you want to see up close? Look how pretty it is. I made a candle. Wait, my candle's dying. Why is it dying? My flame is dying. Do you see that? Excuse me. No dying. Why is it doing that? It is barely hanging on. Is it because it's a crayon? Would that influence it? Aren't crayons made of wax? And coloring. Well, I am very concerned right now. They look awesome, but they're not working as candles. How do you not work as a candle? You've got a wick and wax. What could possibly go wrong in this scenario? Excuse me. It's kind of doing this weird bubbly thing too. Hold on. 
Let me see if I can get a close up. Come here. Do you see what's happening? Why is this happening? What's going on? How does that happen? What if I do to one that didn't have glitter in it? This is a regular crayon. Let's see if that changes it. This one's dying too. What in the world? These candles don't work. It just completely went out. These candles suck. I mean, if you know where I went wrong and you can fix it, then by all means, go ahead and make your own candle. But I did something wrong along the way. So that's it for today. I hope you like this video. I love you guys. Subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I didn't know it would be that hard to make a candle. You put wax and a wick together and then you make flame. Like, come on, how is this difficult? Ugh. Dang it, I was so excited about this too. My rage and emotions for this video, just ridiculous. That's it, I'm done this time. Remember, above all else, gosh darn it. Stay awesome, blossoms. Why don't you work?